Today we'll begin with text conversion functions, starting with the most commonly used and then move to formatting functions. Each function comes with practical examples, so you'll know when and how to use them effectively. The text function is often used for converting numbers, dates and times into text with a custom format. It's widely used in financial reports, dashboards and dynamic presentations, where numbers need to look consistent and follow specific formats. Let's see some examples. If our initial cell contains a date, this formula will convert it to the string, following the day-month-year format. The format text argument in the text function allows you to define exactly how you want numbers, dates or times to appear, but it's a topic for a whole another video. The text function is incredibly flexible, but be aware that the result is always text. That means you can't perform calculations on it directly without converting it back into a number. The value function is your go-to for converting text that looks like a number back into a true numerical value. It's particularly helpful when importing data from external sources, where numbers are treated as text, causing issues with calculations. This will convert the string into the numeric value. If the text contains non-numeric characters, like 1, 2, 3, 4, ABC, value will return an error. So make sure the text represents a valid number before converting. The T function is a bit of an underdog in the Excel function family. It returns the text portion of a value if it exists. If the value is a number or other data type, it returns an empty string. This is especially useful for data cleaning when you are dealing with mixed datasets. The ArrayToText function is part of a newer Dynamic Arrays feature in Excel 365. Array to text converts an array of values into a single text string, which can be useful when dealing with a range of cells. The value to text function converts numbers into text format. However, value to text is more specific to dynamic arrays and is useful in modern Excel workbooks. The char function returns the character corresponding to a given ASCII code. It's particularly useful for inserting special characters into text, such as line breaks or symbols which don't have an easy keyboard shortcut. The code function returns the ASCII code for the first character of a text string. It's useful when troubleshooting text encoding issues. The fixed function rounds a number to a specific number of decimal places and converts it into text. This function is especially useful in financial reports, where you want to control the exact number of decimal places displayed. You can also suppress commas by setting the no commas argument to true. The dollar function converts a number to text formatted as currency, including the dollar sign. This is very useful for quick financial reports where you want a simple consistent currency format. But if you need more flexibility or different currents, use text with a custom format. And the last function converts a number into Thai but currency text. It's extremely specialized and primarily used in Thailand. As you see, some of these functions, like text and value, are incredibly powerful and frequently used, while others are very niche. Thanks for watching, see ya!